All right. Um, we're going to talk about camping gear you'll actually use. That's it. Stay tuned. It's going to be a long one. Ninety percent of everything I'm going over, you don't need. You can get by with way, 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 way less. I've done it for many years. But investing in some good gear that will last you a long time means you will go out more, enjoy it longer, and soapbox over. All right, so if you can't tell, first things first is a table. Um, you don't really need a table in order to camp and do stuff, but my gosh, is it helpful. This one is super easy to set up, very light, good footprint, and I'm gonna tell you about it. This table is an Alps mountaineering table. As you guys saw already, this thing is Super fast to set up, super light, rip it out of the truck, pull the legs out, foosh, lay the slits out and go click, done. This is no bigger than like your kind of cheap standard um, folding chair. And it honestly probably weighs about the same as one of those. Setup is easy, it's super light and it gives you a big, big, big footprint. So you can set up your kitchen and just have more um, space to enjoy camping. Okay, next thing I want to show you guys is uh, super simple. Um, I've been using this Claymore light for a few years now. It comes in this really nice carrying case. This thing is awesome. Um, investing in good gear is one of those things that a lot of people don't like doing. They don't like spending uh, like a, what you would say is a premium or a, a high dollar amount for something. But I'll tell you what, the quality of this thing the bulletproofness of it. Um, it. It looks brand new, but I have literally been using this for a couple years now. And because of this carrying case, it always stays brand new. It just, it never gets dirty. It never gets effed up. Very nice case. It's like a, it's like a, a soft material, but it has like, it's like rigid in the corners so it could drop. I literally just let this like sit in my truck 100% of the time. 365 just bouncing around in the back of my truck and you see how good a shape it's in um it's super bright and it has different color temperatures and it dims down really really low the other thing that's really great about this light is it is um essentially it's like a battery bank so you see on the back here you can charge it but you can also output with the usb charge a device if you want to run a USB fan, anything you need to do. Um, I never use it for that because I have other things that charges my stuff, but it's handy. So it's like you, anytime you can have one piece of gear that can do multiple things to me is really, really valuable. And it just, um, even if you don't use it, it's always available uh, to be used. It's just really, really versatile. It lasts an insane amount of time. I've literally had this for years. Use it on low because low is already so bright. You guys will see tonight. And dude, I've charged it like twice. I'm not even exaggerating. And I've literally had it for years. It just lasts an insane long time because LEDs are really efficient and the battery is huge. You see how thick it is. It's pretty heavy, maybe five pounds, um, but it's awesome. I absolutely love these freaking mosquito candles. <laughs> um, if you've never used one of these uh, mosquito candles, they're freaking dope. Um, they smell really good. They're plant-based. They smell um, like a normal candle. You, know, you don't feel like you're breathing in fumes when it's nearby. 
So, anyways, buy these. They're awesome. Um, little bit expensive, but if you spend a lot of time camping and you spend a lot of time outside where you don't have running water, you're gonna, your mind's gonna be blown by this thing and you're gonna be like, I need it right now. So anyways, it's called the rinse kit cube. This thing is literally one of the coolest things I think I've ever found in my life. It is literally that good. So all it is, is it has a built-in battery and a built-in pump. You can fill it up with water and now you have running water anywhere you're camping. It's got an on off button. You turn it on, it automatically pressurizes. It tells you the battery level right here. It has a 12 volt socket in case you need to run something on 12 volt. This is also how you charge it, your normal car socket. And it has two USBs. So you can use it to charge a phone or something if you need to. Um, or what I've been using it for is I have a little LED string light that plugs in USB. So if you want to set up like a, 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 a shower area, you can string up a little weatherproof LED string light from this thing, carry it to your tent. It's all by itself. You can see it's really easy to move around and it holds four gallons. Comes with a nice hose, six foot long hose. You guys are kind of far away from me, but you guys could see how long this hose is. It's a good ways. Most of the time, I literally leave it in the truck, turn it on, uncoil it, and I just use this for like hand washing. And you all know how your feet get, no matter what type of sock you wear, it's gonna be pitch black and it's gross. Okay, easy. Rinse it off. Comes with a bunch of different modes. Okay, you can do anything you want with it for the most part. Um, it's detachable. So if you need to replace this, maybe this thing gets broke or something, you don't have to replace the whole thing because it is plastic, but so far it's super durable. Actual running water, actual shower, carries the water itself, four gallons, and then you have four gallons of running water. Runs about eight minutes when you're using the little shower thing. If you use it just solid, um, yeah, game changer can holder okay these things are super dope i've only just recently started using these but dude it's just like we all have used the little you know like the little foam koozies you put your beer in and whatnot those don't really do anything they don't keep your drink actually colder these you every single brand makes these okay so you got your yetis your hydro flask your this brand that brand whoever brand they're all the same so find one that you like uh, it's double wall insulated. I pre-chill mine. I don't know why. I leave it in the fridge So this is all cold and then they make them for sizes. So this is a super common Like, uh, you know skinny 12 ounce can everyone drinks these these days, which is going to be like all the uh, the hard seltzers the Fits in real easy Screw on the top It holds it so it doesn't come out super easy and it keeps your drink cold for way longer so anyway, um, not all the good gear has to be specific for camping. We use these at home. We use them at a barbecue. We use them camping. They make them for beer bottles, like classic glass, you know, long sl slim neck. They make them for 12 ounce cans, standard short cans. They make them for the long cans. Just buy a few of them. They're super cheap and they're like indestructible. They're like metal and double wall insulated. It's no different than your hydro water bottle you're drinking out of, except this, you can put your, you know. Anyway, my point is, is it's awesome. You should buy one, they're super good. It's a fridge slide, so let me show you. So this thing, for, first things first. It's made by a company called Tortuga Off-Road. Um, I believe I paid like 500-ish dollars for this slide, but it is super heavy duty, super high quality material, and I got the biggest one they make, so I can upgrade my fridge later, get a bigger one if I want, or not. You'll see how I'm using it is kind of like a fridge slash extra gear storage slide. So 
Anyway, you're on a slope. It has a two-stage lock, so it'll lock halfway and full length. It also has a really nice, high-quality cutting board. This freaking thing is sturdy, and I have it completely uh, pulled out right now. It doesn't touch the truck bed. It doesn't rest on it. Um, I have mine just mounted to a piece of plywood that I secured in my truck so that I can, like, you know, take it out if I want to and yada, yada, yada. Um, it's awesome. I have it like an extra gear storage. I have my fridge on the side, okay? And then I have a good amount of extra space on the side to store extra gear. Um, I really, really like it. It's super durable. Highly recommend you should buy one. Man, this video is going to be super long, but I'm literally going to show you guys everything that I use to camp. So bear with me. If anyone watches this whole video, you're going to have like, in my opinion, you're going to have a lot of really good recommendations on gear. But next thing I am going to show you is my stove. Everyone has a stove. Um, I upgraded a couple years ago after beating my Coleman stove that I had for like 10 years to death. And I ended up going with the uh, Camp Chef Everest 2X. So this thing is it's not small i'm not a big guy but you can see me okay it's not small like all the other stuff that you guys are typically seeing on youtube these days the thing i really like about it is the build quality it is just like it is just built solid and it's not a ton of money you want to have a small propane tank this is a five pounder okay um brand doesn't matter everyone's buying the ignic uh brand these days this is not this is like a flame king brand um you can buy all this stuff on amazon for the most part i'm not affiliated or whatever but if i remember i'll put all these links in so you know exactly what i bought where i bought it from la 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 okay what i am gonna tell you is that you want a good bin Pick something cheap. I use the Plano Adventure Guy trunks. They're super cheap, really durable, made in the USA. Even if it breaks, you buy a new one. Don't spend a bunch of money on all the really big expensive cases, unless you really need to, like it's outside on the roof or something. Uh, you don't need to, and this does the same thing, and it's just as good, honestly, it really is. But if you have extra money, then obviously you could spend extra money, but good bins. High quality, um, high quality sleeping stuff. This is called a top quilt. This one is from a brand called Hammock Gear, because I do a lot of hammock camping for the, the, a number of years now. But there's all kinds of brands, and this one is a high quality um, goose down insulation. It packs down extremely small like extreme um there is a small stuff sack in here that i keep in the in the in the main bag so when i do a backpacking trip or when i do any sort of camping trip where where space is a premium um you can pack this into a bag no bigger than a football having something that'll keep you nice and warm when it's cool and is breathable when it's hot is super super important i can't recommend it enough you pay for quality you'll use it for the rest of your life if you take care of it and it'll take care of you that's all i'm saying Woo. now water storage I've been hearing a thing recently where people are saying that you don't need as much water as you think. I hard disagree. You always carry more water than you need. It's worth the sacrifice and weight and the wear and tear on your vehicle and blah, blah, and the space. Da, 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 da. It's worth it because water will save your life. You could survive many, many weeks with just water.
Not so much with food. People bring way more food than they bring water. Don't make that mistake. This is the Scepter 20 liter, uh, military style, made in Canada, true Scepter quality. It has a vent on the top, okay? So you undo this vent and then you can pour and it won't go glug, glug, glug. It'll just like pour steady. Um, super wide fill mouth. So it's easy to refill. Very, very, very wide fill mouth. You can refill it with a hose, dunk it in a lake, um, set it in a stream, let it run in. And as long as you're prepared and you have a way to filter, a way to boil, or a way to use iodine tablets, you always have extra drinking water. And if you ever find yourself stranded and you have to stay with your vehicle while you wait for help, you're not gonna die because you were prepared and you had extra water. So anyway, that's super, super important. I can't recommend it enough. You always, always, always carry more water than you think you need because that is the one thing you don't skimp on at all. Next thing is an easy one, okay? It's a chair, okay? You, you, you can spend a $10 on a Walmart chair. It will get you by just fine. You probably use it for years before it's finally destroyed enough where you don't need it. Specifically, the front runner chair, okay? Everyone uses this front runner chair and they say it's the best chair they've ever had. I see why, they're freaking awesome. Um, they, there's actually other brands that make this almost to the T identical chair for the same price, roughly. So it's pretty small, okay? Me for comparison, very thin, super lightweight, and it's really, really fast to set up. Comes with a carry handle, undo some Velcro, pull it up, unfold it, and then fold it up. And now you're done, okay? Chair set up. Has a pocket on the side, put your phone, has a little cup holder, put your beer can, and another little pocket for whatever. Put a flashlight, whatever you might need. My point is, my point is, on the topic of a chair, being comfortable at camp is very, very important. Um, compactness is important, and that's pretty much it. There's a hundred reasons why you want a decent chair. And if you don't invest in a good one, you're just gonna buy cheap one after cheap one after cheap one. And then you're gonna end up spending the same amount of money you would on a high quality one anyway. So the front runner chair, I highly, highly recommend it. This chair is awesome, folds really easy, packs up really easy, super small, lightweight. You can't go wrong with a good chair. Being here, that it is hot in the summer, I am sweating. Sleeping in a tent is hot and sweaty. So the next thing, very, very important to make it much, much more enjoyable is a USB fan, okay? This thing is freaking awesome. USB-C rechargeable, four speed settings with timing function, built-in battery. Don't even need to plug it in. I can hang it in my tent. You can set it on a table. You can completely remove the legs if you don't want the legs in your way. Um, this thing is very, very high quality from the brand Claymore, like I said before, made in South Korea. It is a high quality plastic. Granted, it is plastic, but it is lightweight. The, um, the parts that you would want to be metal are metal, including this ring and the stand. If, you, if you've slept in a tent in the summer, you know how miserable it can be at night. No airflow, no this, no that. Even with the mesh screens and you know all the doors open, the airflow's just not there sometimes. If there's no breeze, you make your own breeze. The great thing about this too is it does support like pass-through power. You, if you have any way to power this, maybe like the Claymore light I showed you earlier, uh, 
you plug that in and you plug it into here, this can be dead, 100% dead. It'll run on that battery for a long, long time. Full power, whole night long. Um, Claymore fan, highly, highly recommend. It is pricey, don't get me wrong. You're gonna look at the price, you're gonna be like, trust me, okay? You wanna spend a good amount on a good product. The, this brand, no one's talking about it and I don't know why. Very high quality, very good brand, bomb proof. Do it one time, never buy another fan ever again. Literally, just don't. The AC200 Max, I love this thing. I have a really simple system here. I did some electrical that I got hooked up uh, to the car battery for like exterior lights and stuff for future. This is 100% standalone. I can wire it to my car's battery for charging while driving if I want to, but I don't. So what I did is I have a solar connection set up which is charging this unit 100% of the time that there is sun. 178 watts and a DC output load of 47 watts. The 47 watt load is obviously the refrigerator. And this solar input wires up to the solar setup. This solar panel has been perfect for the Blue Eddy. It is the perfect size, really good output, durable, easy install. Highly, highly recommend this solar panel. Well, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is a lot longer of a video than I normally make, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys all the actual good gear that I think you would benefit from tried to throw in a couple cheap things that are easy to accumulate over time. Um, none of us have the cash to dish out all this money all in one go, so don't sweat it. Grab a couple things as you can, and don't forget that the gear is meant to supplement the experience. Don't focus so much on the gear that you forget to get out there and do stuff. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you wouldn't mind liking the video, share it with your friends. If you saw anything that you want more videos on, go ahead and let me know and I'll make a dedicated review on that equipment. Don't forget, stay safe, go outside and explore.